Good morning, and it's morning here, so I'm semi-caffeinated, so if it's not super energetic, that's fine. All right, I'm going to do a couple of videos about edible ink printers and use these to print um, wafer paper and icing sheets to put on cakes, to put on cookies, to decorate your cakes if you're going to cut them out of wafer paper. And there are a lot, I was going to say there are a few things to know about edible ink printers, but there are a lot of things to know. So I'm going to try to go through and cover some scenarios that have come up with me that I've not seen any solutions for. But let me get a little closer here so you can see the printer itself. Okay, an edible ink printer is just a regular printer that has these cartridges. This is a food coloring cartridge. It's not regular printer ink. It doesn't have the chemicals that keep the print heads from clogging and keep the ink processing smoothly through the print head. And that's why edible ink printers tend to dry out and clog and give you kinds of trouble that regular printers don't. So you have to be aware that if you're going to get an edible ink printer, you really need to use it. They say run it at least once a week. I use mine every single day, and I have a second one underneath this one on the next shelf down. And I use both of them every single day. So I don't have the kind of problem with the, the ink stop you know, stopping running through because it's kind of run through on a regular basis. If you're not going to use this um, on a regular basis, I would say don't even bother getting one because they're going to give you problems that you don't need if you don't use it on a regular basis. It's cheaper just to go, you know, hire hire, hire me to do your printing, whatever. Because um, it, it's not worth the aggravation, I guarantee you. There have been times when I've gone to print something and it's taken me three hours once I figure out what the printer's doing and why it's not printing yellow and everything else is working and then suddenly the yellow starts working and everything else stops. It's, it's a mess. So if you don't have a need for these, don't bother. Don't even bother watching this video. It's just not even worth it. Um, but if you're going to use it a lot, then it might be worth getting one. Okay. So first, obviously, you just turn it on the right normal way. Um, it works like a printer. It's just a regular printer. And the only difference between these and the regular ones, like I said, is they have these different cartridges. I will say that I use Canons not Epson or HP or whatever because the Canon printhead is removable. So you can take it out and clean it out if the if everything gets clogged up. And the way that these work, you just, you know, they click in and out. It's just a regular cartridge and you put them in, click them out. You can refill these. Um, they have refill kits like you can refill regular ink. I do not refill these more than twice. If you fill them more than twice, they say sometimes you can refill them two or three times. Don't do them the third time. Once you do them twice, throw it out and start a new one. And I've just found that that works better. If you do it three times, that's when you start getting trouble with them. So twice only, two for the refills, and that's it. If it's blinking like this, then it just means that there's not a connection being made or something. Something weird is going on with it. But it doesn't necessarily mean that something's going to be wrong with it once you close the cover and start printing. So I'm just going to check to see. Ah, look. It's a good example. Perfect. Okay, there's no ink in this, so that's pretty empty. And I make a little mark on the top. Oops, whoa, there we go. See the line there that I've drawn on with a Sharpie? So that means I refilled this one once. So I'm going to refill this after I'm done. Actually, I'll do that. It's the next part of the refilling thing. Um, but so I'll make another line to show that it's been done twice. If I had refilled this one twice, I would just throw this out and put this one in because this happens to be magenta. Um, but that's that's what happens. The these are made with a sponge here. Some of them are sponges and some are a different type. I use the ones with the sponges because just because it fits this printer. Um, so the sponge is here and the ink is here and it sucks into the sponge and then it goes through the machine. So I'll I'll fill this next. I'm going to put this back in so it doesn't dry out on the sponge. Um, so you know so periodically you need to kind of open this up, just kind of look to see that everything is full. Everything else is fine, so I would close this, and then I would go go ahead and print. You don't have to check the ink every single time, obviously, but um, but you know it, it just basically works the same way. And I think that I let me think what else to tell you about the basics. Um, you know what I think I'll do? I'm going to go ahead and refill that cartridge to show you how to do that because it's pretty simple. So that'll be the next section. Okay, I think that was very considerate of this little cartridge to run out 
just when I needed to demonstrate it. And this is an old one because um, the little plug is in a different place. But the one thing I will say is before you go out to buy a printer, make sure that where you're going to get your ink, um, there are a few companies online. I get mine from Icing Images. And you really should stay with one company and just be consistent so that you know that the ink that you're getting is going to be consistent, you know, through the whole process of using it. Because I, I, I know that some people get all their ink from eBay and stuff. I don't trust that. So it might work. It's up to you if you want to take a chance. I prefer to just stick with one company and be consistent. Okay. So what I'm going to do now... I'm just going to take a Sharpie and mark on here another little line to show myself that I've refilled this twice. So the next time this runs out, it's going to go in the, in the trash because I'm not going to refill things more than twice. And this is the refill kit. Actually, let me say, when you take these out, they come with this little orange cap. And you put that on and snap it on. And that protects the sponge and keeps it from drying out and keeps the ink from going everywhere. If you refill this without this thing on it, the ink is going to spill out and it's going to be a huge mess. Always have a paper towel ready. Okay, so the ink just comes in these little refill bottles. Oops. And it's very simple. You squeeze this thing on. Make sure this is on tight because even sometimes when I put these on tight, they will ooze out. All right, so this just goes right in the little hole where the plug was in and you fill this up and it might suck into the sponge and kind of drop down a little bit as the level is filling up it's kind of the sponge is sucking it and it's dropping the level so just go ahead and fill it up don't fill it all the way to the top but just like you can wait to see if the level's dropping I can see that it's going down a little bit because it's sucking into the sponges over here on this side and it goes in there sucks into the sponge and then out through the little hole so let that suck in Fill it. Okay, and once it stops dropping down, I hope you can see this. And it's it's like I said, it's early here and the light's terrible. So once you can, once there's that, and uh, okay, it seems to have stopped. So I'm going to take this little plug and plug the hole back up, and you are done. Then I'm going to go put it back in the printer. When I take this off, there's a good chance that there's going to be a drip of ink coming out. So you want to, like I said, have your paper towel ready and um, just put this back into the machine and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so I've got my paper towel ready. I'm going to open this up over the paper towel. There's only a little bit on there so it's not bad. Then this goes right back into the machine. You press it down and once this little orange light is on and is steady it means that it's ready to go. Um, it might flash a little bit that's okay. Sometimes when you refill the cartridges, the machine will say that um, the ink is low and it just isn't reading it right because it's been refilled, but that's okay. As long as you can visually see that there's ink in there it, and it's working and it's coming through the machine and printing right, then you're okay. So if you get a message that says your ink is low, just ignore it unless you know that it actually is low. All right, so you close that and it'll start up and it'll be ready to print. So that's the basics of how you set the machine up. Um, I'll do another video next to go up next week about, um, I'll try to think like the, the settings on it and that kind of thing, because you have to do the settings a little bit differently for edible ink than you would for, um, for regular paper. So if you have any questions about this part of it, leave them and I will try to answer as soon as I can. Just remember the cannons are the best ones to use because the print heads come out and you'll understand that later when I explain that further. So that's it. Have a good day.